You know that expression, it's only a movie? Yeah, well this shit actually kind of does happen, on occasion, in real life. That's the scary part. The Call. Yeah, not the most memorable title. Whether I ended up loving it or not, I knew for a fact that I was going to at least like this film because this was one of the few instances where the trailer alone got me to cry. And that does not happen often, so I knew that it was going to be something special. And I did like it. Quite a bit. It had great suspense and great performances. But it does have some issues that fall more on the technical side of things. For instance, the way that certain bits are shot and edited is, uh... That looked kind of weird. It looked like for a lot of Abigail Breslin's close-ups that the camera was like really close to her face like this, but the the lens was zoomed out, so it it uh, gave off this. You're just really close to her face, you know, like you're zoomed out, but you're just like right there. It just felt weird, uh, not in a good way. I mean, I, I think I get what they were going for, like a certain psychological effect, but it just really didn't work. Also, there were occasions where in order to punctuate an action and get a certain effect with the audience, the, uh, not the, like, the camera, it wasn't a camera effect, but it seemed like in editing they, they did almost like what I'm guessing was like a freeze frame where they would build the action up and then just kind of hold it there for a second, and then they would continue the action to, you know, get to the point. That was more annoying than anything, and I wish they hadn't done that. There seemed to be this, uh, like, side plot almost with this guy who was the, the bad dude and with his dead daughter, and I got towards the end, I think, why they had that in the story, but I just didn't feel like it was necessary. They just kind of put that in there because it added to his character when I don't really think it did. It just made him more of a weirdo, and he was already a weirdo, so... I also feel like the film lost its steam after the first two acts. The third I wasn't bad, just that it felt like a sprinter who had bolted through the first two laps, then got a sidekick and then had to jog the rest of the way. Which brings me to the ending, which if you've seen it, which I'm just gonna guess you have, but if you haven't, fine. But if you've seen it, the ending is very much so like Saw. Not sure that was the best way to end the film, but I think it worked. So overall, I'm gonna give the call three and a half out of five stars and say it's worth at the most a matinee. And if you like that movie Cellular with Chris Evans before he was really Chris Evans, then you're more than likely gonna like this. Thanks for your time and have an awesome day.